The government of St. Lucia has expressed its commitment to continuing capital projects in order to prevent a total collapse of the local economy. This is exceedingly important given that investments and prospective investments in St. Lucia have been hard hit. The issue was examined Sunday evening during a live panel discussion on the National Television Network. More from Anisia Antoine. The COVID-19 pandemic is expected to have a lasting effect on investment and the economy. The COVID-19 Roadmap to Recovery, the Role of Investment panel discussion focused on the review of the economic impact of the pandemic on St. Lucia whilst charting the road to recovery. The panel of experts weighed in on the state of the economy, the medium-term development strategy, the support for local investments, and St. Lucia's capital expenditure and investments projects. Tommy Descart, chief economist at the Department of Economic Development, spoke on the key areas currently being focused on in the medium-term development strategy. We think that uh, some of what we try to achieve it are structural, uh, uh, try to remedy structural issues in the economy that has been there since post-independence. And so essentially pre or, or post-COVID, these are, this will remain. And so the government needs to still continue uh, um, these initiatives. However, we see the MTDS um, now being positioned as sort of coming and give a stimulus during this time. So, so it's really about the issue of timing. If we fast track some of these initiatives, particularly the infrastructure projects, we have a, a very ambitious road infrastructure project. And again, building um, climate resilience to infrastructure. We have a hurricane season it's just around the corner. So, so we see the medium term development strategy now doubling up as as, as a sort of a stimulus in the, in the short term by providing an injection of resources um, into the economy for capital projects, but also um, helping us and putting us on a, on a platform that we could uh, have a quicker recovery. The chief economist explained that the majority of the initiatives will be financed through multilateral development banks, ensuring transparency in public procurement processes. Descat also noted the importance of ensuring that the projects are labor intensive. I would like to say that most of the projects are at the commencement of the cycle of the construction fees. And that's generally the, the period where it's very labor intensive. And so we see that um, you won't just have um, a project happening and it's just a few persons. We anticipate that because of the magnitude and the size of the, the projects that will be embarking upon, it will um, absorb a significant supply of, of the, the excess labor that we see in the economy. President of the Chamber of Commerce, Karen Fontinel peter explained that the Chamber of Commerce is in the process of developing investment avenues for local investors. Private citizens, I'm certain, have projects who are in the stages of negotiation, maybe um, a government ministry is ho holding up some part of it. Um, so we need to, and we will actually, um, we are proposing a local investment forum, mm -hmm. um, investor forum, the chamber that is, where our local investors can come and present and identify those projects that they have in the pipeline and trying to get jump started for the longest while. And for one reason or the other, um, it's being held up, whether it's <laughs> by the, the ministry or whatever. So some sort of intervention would be required so we could get our own private citizens who have those projects um, yeah. to develop, yeah. get, get it going as well. Yeah. The President of the Chamber of Commerce commended the government on the measures being taken towards the recovery of the economy post-COVID-19. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.